Hey everybody, welcome back to Prop Toast Gaming Network. Today we're going to be starting a new series on my channel called the Nest Challenge. What is Nest Challenge, you ask? It's basically going to be a new series I'm going to be starting up where I'm going to be doing basically playthrough videos or let's play uh, basically every single NES game from A to Z. So basically each episode is going to consist of um, basically three games per episode. So the episode could last between... Uh, 10, 15, 20, or 30 minutes, depending on which games I decide to do, depending on the game itself. Like, there may be some games that I may find, hey, this doesn't seem as interesting, I'm not sure somebody's going to want to sit through 10 minutes of something that seems really boring. So it really varies between the game to game, and also keep in mind that these are only going to be the US release games, because if I try to do the Japanese ones, then yeah, I'm going to basically have no clue what the hell I'm doing, or there may be some where I can kind of guess through, but... Yeah, it just may not be as cool. Or if there's actually any Japanese ROMs that you guys may know of that I should definitely try out, just make sure you leave a comment in the box below, and I'll definitely be sure to go ahead and check those out and possibly put them up here on YouTube. So before I continue talking anymore, let's get started. All right, guys, so the first game we're going to be starting off with here is 2-in-1 Cosmo Cop and Cyber Monster. Now, this is originally one of the guns that you need the little... Uh, light gun for and everything, but luckily for me, the emulator I have happens, as you can see here, to let me use my mouse as a cursor. Yeah, it does take a little bit of the challenge out of the game, but oh well, hey, it'll still be fun around the play this, since these are actually a lot of games I haven't even personally tested out. So let's just go ahead and get started out with Cosmo Cop. Ready, go! This is tight. This they're fighting aliens and robots, so definitely a futuristic-ish game. Well, it's the NES standards. These guys are fast. Get over here. Bastard. No. Shit. Crap, he actually got me. Damn, I actually wish I had this on my original NES. This is actually pretty cool. Honestly, the only one I used to have, basically, when I had an NES was actually, of course... Ah, no! Okay. Yeah, as I was saying, the only one I actually had back when I owned an NES was actually just, you know, your basic duck hunts. No! Damn, you guys are fast. You're freaking fast over here. No! This is actually kind of a cool little game. I actually wish I had my light gun use with this. It would actually be pretty trippy if I could actually get the light gun to work on the computer. Oh shit, I've gotten shot twice. Oh no! Okay, I'm gonna go. No, no, no! Okay. Gotta somehow manage to get more hearts. I'm not sure how I am, but I am. Alright. No! Okay. We got this, we got this. Come on. I wonder how long till you complete the level. Oh wait, maybe I lost life and that's one heart. Okay, that makes sense. Nope. Okay, yeah, there we go. So I've been basically running out of life this whole time. Ah, oh, damn, that's gonna be freaking challenging as crap with the light gun. Oh, uh, no! Fudge. So, as you can see, I lost. I wonder if it's going to... Alright, so the next one we're gonna be trying to do on this game is Cyber Monster. So, huh, this should be interesting. Dang, 1993. Let's see here. Ready? Shoot! So I'm guessing you have to wait till they materialize all the way? Yeah, there we go. I think I missed one already. Oops, okay, yeah. This is what you don't want to do in a game, is shoot the girls. Let's see if I can not do that. Okay, got you. Oh, no, no, okay, don't want to shoot her. She's a pretty lady, we don't shoot pretty ladies. Yeah, I got you. Damn, yeah, she got me. There 
go. Haha. <laughs> oh, crap, and there's one more scale of it. Ah! Stupid game, quit tricking me with pretty ladies. Por que? No! Alright, uh, screw it. Let's go ahead and do another match of this. And after that, we'll switch on to a next game. <clears throat> Ready, shoot! Shoot the pretty blood. Hey, quit putting them up there. There we go. That's the ones I want to shoot. Damn. Free this again. It's going to be interesting when I actually go to do duck hunt on this thing. It's going to probably make that game so much easier. Maybe I can shoot that stupid laughing dog. Oh, crap. I really gotta stop shooting them. Alright, so that's it for this game. Now let's go ahead and switch on over to our next game. We're back with a 2 and one lightning game, Tough Cop and Super Tough Cop. So yeah, this one should actually be rather interesting. Of course, we got a two lightning gun games for our first two titles, but oh well, not bad. Start with Tough Cop. Tough cop, named Jackson, age 28, high 5'3". Dang, he's a fatty guy, 205 pounds, what's up with that shit? Oh, we got George. Oh shit, mission starts, go for the target. Ah. Okay, so, let's see. Yeah, we don't shoot them, okay. Shooting the innocent ladies is no bueno. Doesn't seem too bad so far. <clears throat> I think that one monster, the freaking virtual monster one I did earlier was a little bit more challenging just because you actually have to be quick with it. Then you have to stop shooting pretty ladies. These ladies, I don't know, they're alright. But no, I won't shoot them because that'll cost me to lose and we don't want that. That's basic so far. I don't know. Is there any more? Are you gonna get challenging or start putting on multiple targets? Or is this really just a basic lightning gun game like this? Let's see. I'm still on stage one, so let's see. What I have to do is. Enemies 19. Okay, so I got 18 more enemies to try to kill. Oh, crap, I missed you. No! I kill a lot of these freaking enemies. Well, I guess I gotta do something to make the stages longer in one of these NES games. Grrr! 14 more! Maybe we can finally move on to stage 2. Maybe it might get at least, hopefully, a little bit more challenging. But we shall see. Targets to go and get on done with the stage. I've been sitting here for like two minutes so and shooting this guy. Oh no, run! I gotta admit, these bandits have really bad control of their victims. I mean, sitting there, I'm sitting there shooting them off, and their victims are just like running out of every freaking location possible. So you guys really need to keep on track of these. Oh, 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 crap. Oh. Uh. Uh. Oops. Dang it. Okay, that's shit. That sucked. <clears throat> 
All right, so yeah, that's figured. I sit there and complain about it not being challenging. Then of course that last little guy is like, "Oh shit, crap! Aim around, aim around." All right, so I guess we'll go ahead and move on to Super Tough Cop. Ooh, this one's gonna be hardcore. Almost looks like the Street Fighter symbol up here. It's kind of cool. Nay, Bill, age 32, 610, weight 210. God, these guys are freaking way overweight. Just compared to these, look at the. If you look at the picture, the guy doesn't look like he should be 210 pounds. Puppets, why does it say puppet? Ah, gotcha. God, I have to kill 34 targets? Alright. This doesn't seem like I have any hostages to worry about so far. I'm such a tough cop, I, they don't even need to have hostages. I just need to, they just need to be there for me to kill them. Just this whole window and door thing looks like a freaking face going bra. One of the creepers from Minecraft. Ah, oh, I see, we're actually moving on. Is there actually gonna be any hostages over here? <laughs> oh, <coughs> oops, okay, I guess that was apparently... That's a really bad design for the hostages, because honestly it looked like one of the freaking people I've been fighting. Okay, so I guess I gotta be on watch for them, because I didn't even know they are going to be throwing any more hostages. I don't get it. These guys I'm shooting, they don't really look, look all that threatening. They're just kind of like staring at me like, Hey, what's up? No. You're not allowed to look out the windows. Look, no. You cannot look right out there. I will shoot you directly in the face and it will hurt like the dickens. Oh, crap. I'm actually being killed as I'm doing stupid-ass voices. Ugh. Ah, crap. Alright, well that was game over for that one. I guess we'll go ahead and start our next game. Alright, alright, so now we're back with our third game, which is gonna be 3D Battles of World Runner. So yeah, just another game I honestly haven't heard or played, so let's go ahead and get started into it. And start. What the heck kind of game is this? Huh, that's interesting. Switch for NES graphics. Okay, as long as I can press forward to freaking speed up. Oh crap, jump! Okay. I'm assuming I'm not supposed to hit these green balls right here. If I do, I should. Ah, crap. Or fall into the black pit. Because that black pit will kill you. Are those. Those are like the swirly things that you put in the ramen noodles. That's interesting. Ah, crap, and I died by a green ball. This is a weird-ass freaking world. Why do they have freaking... I, I forgot... It was like the little crab cakes I had to put in there or something like that, but... Why the heck do they have those just kind of stacked? What are those on them? They look like freaking, like... I don't even know what those are. Either like fins, fans, I don't know, goat ears? Oh, no, no! Fudge! Nah, nah, I'm not gonna freaking lose that quickly. Let's try this again. So I was sitting there concentrating too much, I'm like, what the hell is this crap in the level? What are these tubes anyways? Oh crap! Wait, are those Mario mushrooms? What if I can grow from that? Hold on, let me see if I can find another one. Uh, uh, uh. Jump, make it? Okay. Oh, what the heck? Now we got white balls floating around. No, 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 no! Fudge! Got a bit further. Let's see what is this? A rocket? What the heck is that? Oh, what? Ah, oh, shit! I can shoot things now. Nice. Okay. I thought this was gonna be just a basic run and jump game, but it's actually kind of cool. I always avoided the tubes before because I thought maybe if you hit them, you freaking die or something like that. But Ah, and of course I died again. I'm kind of curious, like... What, did the mushrooms make you grow, or what? Let's see. What? Got a mushroom. Okay, so apparently the mushrooms kill you. So those are things that we do not want to grab. 
Alright, so now that I'm actually getting a bit more of a hang of what you actually do in this game, let's see if we can actually do a little bit better without dying. What do we got here? Alright, we got a rocket. We got whatever that is. Probably like. Oh no, we don't want to hit that. Jump. Slow down so we can kill these buggers. Jump. Oh. Okay, apparently I ran out of my rocket juice, so. Gotta be careful. Oh shit, I ran out of my extra life too, so now I gotta make sure I don't get hit either. Oh no. Ugh. Ah, crud. Okay, I think I get how to slow down and not freaking fall into that second pit. Wait, first let's see if we can... No! I wanted my superpowers! Screw it. I don't need no stinking powers. I'm a strong, independent, 8-bit green person. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, that's a long-ass jump. Ugh, there we go. Sweet! I finally made that stupid-ass second jump that's been, like, kicking my ass up. All this time, fudge. Sit there, I'm going like, yeah, I finally made it. Ah, oh, crap, I fell into the second one. Okay, a potion, we could use that. Okay, whatever. Ah, uh, jump. Oh, okay, cool. No! No, you weren't supposed to die yet. Not screw it, one more time. One more time. It's probably gonna be like a 15 minute episode right here. Whatever, alright. Blasters. Got even more blasters. Alright, let's do this. Am I on a time limit? That little barn and there's actually a time limit for this. Alright. The balls are so happy. No! Oh! Damn, dude, I am sucking at freaking actually making that jump. Ready for this. No, oh, why? I just. Ugh. I said I was ready for it, not ready to fall back down the hole again. Alright, let's do this again. Alright, got one. No! What the. F ah, I was prepared too much. Alright, anyways, that was my first episode of the Nest Challenge of Prof Toast. I hope you guys liked it. If there's any of these games that you would like to. Well, basically, this thing I'm going to be doing like later on in the series, if there's games that you guys find out your favorite or you actually liked, I might actually go ahead and do like maybe just a private session of just that game and then post it up. So if you guys do, um, please just let me know in the comment box below. If there's any, of course, like I said, if there's any Japanese titles you might want to see, uh, drop me a link below the name of the titles, and I'll see what I can do about putting them in here. So as always, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to um, like, rate, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.